Hey folks, it's me, the Psycho Ripper, here with another Call of Duty 4 video. Uh, this time it was a uh, team death match on Showdown. Showdown's one of my favorite maps from this game. Well, that's kind of hard to say because I love pretty much every one of them, almost every map on this game, so. But this one's especially interesting. What I like about it is the amount of approaches you can have taken uh, every uh, area of the map and how much like c precaution and alertness you need to have in certain areas like you really have to consider your options with depending on the loadout you're using like when I'm upstairs like peeking into the side you can't use the LM or LMGs too effectively because of the recoil you won't be able to hit everything now I gotta say though, we have a huge. There was a huge amount of people on this server, which is something. One of the biggest things that's hard to get used to with switching from uh, console COD 4 to PC. And I'd be honest, I like it because it adds a lot more frantic action, lots of fun. And there's, you know, it's just, you have to constantly be more alert. And what's also interesting is the amount of strategic, more strategic approaches you can take with the number of people you have. I mean, there will be points in this match where people will be swarming, people will be concentrated in one area guarding certain sections just to get the kills. And I gotta say, that guy's great. I think he can run at me with a knife while I have an LMG. Haha, <laughs> what a fool. And that aside, this was a uh, really fun match. I didn't record all of it, this is only part of it, just because I didn't want to eat up too much memory recording it. But. At the end of the game I went uh, 1.0 with a few assists and I'm okay with it personally. When I have, feel that my uh, KD is fluctuating or having to stay at a relatively like roughly around there, it's interesting to me because it feels like I'm playing at right about the same level or you know, it, it just feels like an evenly matched out battle. I mean, it's some people will be like, yo, that's not 5.0 KD, you're, you're terrible, but if you even if it was me getting that, I wouldn't feel like it would be a good match if that was the case because being that far ahead of everyone just doesn't feel like you're gonna get a really good team deathmatch. And that's what that that's I mean just that's just me. Now I saw people firing that direction and I sprayed a little bit and I got a hit confirm, but nothing after that. And so I just sprayed around to try and scare away the uh, anybody who was there or get some damage, and that's the same tactic I used there, because I saw a smoke and figured, shoot, somebody's probably, you know, like, there may be a chance somebody's there. I couldn't tell if it was, was my teammates or the enemy team using the smoke, so. And there, right there, is an example of why I say you can't use, I couldn't use, you know, LMGs in the upstairs region of Showdown, is because it's very hard to actually aim and hit anybody there. So. Just take this corridor carefully, just in case somebody's around the corner, because I see a lot of people shooting and such, so... I just kind of hesitate and wait for a second. Because if I just run into that, I'm probably going to die. One thing you need to note about LMGs in this game is, when you have the slight of hand perk, you actually don't reload fast, or you actually don't aim down the sights faster like you do in, uh, later Call of Duty games. And so, you pretty much, aiming down the sights can be very slow in this game, or right there, Two mistakes happened. I saw a guy and didn't even think to shoot. I ended up throwing a grenade, which was really stupid. And I then ended up getting swarmed by a couple other people, which was re it's re that's really a bad thing when I'm running in a LNG, or just in general, it's a bad thing because chances are I'm not going to live through it. Now, one thing I need to mention is. I know I mentioned about how it's interesting to have this many people in a match on the PC version of this game. One thing that really just entertains me about it is just how nuts and frantic it is. I mean, you really gotta consider all your options possible when you're doing something like this. When I ran through that smoke right there, that was not honestly the best idea, but I ran considering, okay, one or two things is gonna be happening. Enemies are going to see me afterwards and shoot me down, or I'm going to have free coverage to get to the other side of the map. So I go for the ladder option, and luckily didn't get shot down. So I was, you know, it's those options you got to consider. And granted, you do get those in smaller lobbies, on no matter what platform you're playing on. It does feel like it's still, like I said, just feels like a different game here. 
And that just might be me. I mean, for some people, they might disagree. Some people might not see that, but it does feel that way for me. Also, one thing, you can't always rely on UAVs in this map because... Well, unless you really know the map inside and out, because you'll see people on there who are on the edges, and they can be upstairs or they can be in the hallways, so you got to pay attention to that. Now, right here we have two guys, me and another person, going at each other with LMGs, it looks like. I figured it out. I figured that's the case because of the fire rate, but he, I think, had the upper hand and got me because I feel like when you're going hand-in-hand -hand like that, people on the higher ground are going to have a little bit more of an advantage. That's just something I feel. Like, I feel, if I'm aiming at him, he has, uh, a lot more, uh, you know, I'm not sure the word I'm looking for is when I try to peek out, I mean, he's gonna know I'm there, and I mean, granted, I'll know where he is up top. It feels like you have it, you'll have an easier time aiming with a more, and harder to control weapon like an LMG from a higher ground. That just, again, might be me. I could be stupid and not know anything about this game, but that's just how I feel. But as you see, I switched to the MP5 just for the purpose of, uh, I wanted to go with an automatic, you know, rushing approach, and I felt the MP5 would help me out, because the MP5 is a really good at submachine gun. It's a incredibly effective in so many ways that most SMGs aren't. Like, I feel like you can have multiple uses. It's very easy to aim, very easy to fire, and very effective. I mean, it's fairly accurate for a submachine gun. So there I see a hornet's nest of enemies, so I pop a grenade hoping that I can make them back off or get somebody, but somebody ended up crouching and scoping, so I ended up getting the bitch into that. Now, I here take careful approaches to look around on the upstairs and decide, you know what, I'm not going to make a mistake. There's still a chance that my MP5 is not going to work up here, so I just run for downstairs for, you know, accuracy's, per accuracy's sake. And one thing I noticed is there was a swarm of enemies in that same corner again, so I decided, let's check over there. But then I realized we had a bunch of people over there, and you see one guy there supporting the hallway. Two guys, actually, firing through the hallways, covering that whole area, and then somebody else covering the other corner. That is what I call strategic play, and that's what I like about this so much. And, like, the fact that people would go so far as to cover that area so well is just awesome to me. So I try to, then they all rush upstairs, which can be a hit or miss thing. I mean, if some, the one of the scariest things with this is if somebody pops a grenade at you, or grenade launcher, every single one of those people are going to get hit or killed. So, I mean, you really got to consider, like I said, considering your options. This is pretty much the theme of this video, I suppose. Now, considering options here, I see a swarm of enemies and decide, you know what, let's go for it. My MP5 is totally efficient. I can get these guys. And that was the case. I managed to get three of them, pop three of them, and I saw a fourth one, and I thought I would get him, but I apparently didn't, and he ends up shooting me from up top, which really, really kind of sucks for me. Like, I'm surprised that actually worked, but shoutouts to him for actually getting it. And so I just pop a grenade over there, because there's more gunfire. I mean, that's pretty much how I use grenades. I use them to try and, you know, scare away people that are launching, or spraying fire everywhere. It's kind of just a strategic thing, but this is about to come to an end. I'm about to get MLG Pro shotted here, and so anyways, I hope you liked this video, and if you like the uh, COD 4, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of it for a while, just because my capture card's broken and I want to level up, so thank you for watching, and have a good day.